I'm Harry, and this is the BBC School Reporter, reporting from the Miles School Penalty. Coming up in today's bulletin, a six-filmer sizing up success in a difficult world of show business. Because um, I'm a bit of a fan of her, actually. Mighty Robbins happen. ruling the roost. And why March the 21st is a special day for some pupils. The super-sized prison gives super-sized headaches to local people. We sent our reporters, Anna and Molly, to find out more. Plans for a super prison to possibly be built near Wrexham have been welcomed by the North Wales Regional Leadership Board. The board represents all six councils in North Wales, among others. The government said that Wrexham is on a short list of places being considered for a super prison. The council are to meet with the Ministry of Justice to discuss the plans further. We sent fellow reporter Molly to the Guildhall to find out more. The super prison could hold up to 1,200 prisoners, but what do the people of Wrexham think of the proposal? We to monitor the situation very carefully. This is Anna, reporting for School Report in Penley. Now we'd all like to be famous. Our reporter Abigail went in search of a local star. with a superstar like Charlotte Church. Oh, it was great. I have actually met her in the dressing rooms before I went on stage, because um, I'm a bit of a fan of her, actually. I had her album, and I got her to sign it for me. And she was just sitting on the floor in the dressing room eating chips with her band. And then I could come in and she was like, oh, would you like a chip? And I was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll have a chip. Um, and then after the show, because one of the teachers from here um, was helping out with the festival and he said that all the way through my performance Charlotte was standing at the side of the wings like watching me and when I came off stage she told me that she thought my voice was lush. Oh, <laughs> so I was a bit starstruck. <laughs> Have you got any plans for the future? Yeah, I hope to do more gigs at different venues, um, have loads more people buy my EP and just, you know, have more people listen Who to knows, we might have a budding superstar in our own school. We wish Carol the best of luck on her career. And okay, so there are a few exceptions But the rest will have the same intentions And I know that someday I'll find the one that's good Incredible double. We sent our reporters Sam and Luke to consider the prospects. We're standing outside the race course, home of the Robins, the oldest international stadium in the whole of Europe. Wrexham are battling on two fronts. After making it to the final of the FA Trophy, we are now back here at the race course ground. To find out more, we decided to interview Neil Roberts. What do you think about Wrexham going to Wembley? Uh, what do I think? I think it's a fantastic uh, achievement. Uh, by, by Andy Morell and his team, they've, uh, they've fully deserved it and I think uh, they've got a great chance of, uh, of succeeding when they get there. I know there'll be a big, uh, a big following of Wrexham supporters, so, uh, so I'll be there. We hope so. Come, Come on, on you Reds! Changes in the GCSEs cause confusion for Year 9 pupils. I'm Harry, I'm a Year 9 pupil. Did you know that England and Wales will be doing different GCSEs in two years' time? This is confusing. Lots of year students have been asking lots of questions. We went to the headmaster to find out more. Different GCSEs in England and Wales, how do you think employers and universities will view the different qualifications? I think that's a really interesting question. For me it's a matter of devolution. Since Wales has got devolved uh, education, we need to treat it in the same way that we treat Scotland. Now employers are always pleased and, and they take into account Scottish qualifications in the same way they would English qualifications. So in Wales we ought to be confident that our quality of education is going to be considered by the employers as high quality. We've got to make sure that we get that communicated to the employers that what we're doing in Wales is of good quality. Uh, and that you can be assured that the students who qualify in Wales uh, are better or 
or as good as their English counterparts. Finally, why the 21st of March is a special day for some pupils, we sent Katie to find out the who, the when and the where. Bunking, skipping, sculling, skulking, scudding, wagging, ditching, skiving, dipping, and in Malay, Pontaine. No matter how you say it, it all means the same thing, taking time off school without permission. But did you know that on the 21st of March it's Trinity Day? But not for you. In Poland, there is a day called Vagarowicz, but on a serious note, truancy is a very big problem in some countries. In Australia, parents can have their child benefits withdrawn. And in America, schools can lose their funding. And here in England and Wales, truancy is a criminal offence for parents. Truancy may be fun, but it's not big and it's not clever. So if you're in Poland, Vagarowicz, but for the rest of us, back to school. For watching. I'm Harry and this has been BBC's School Reporter, Miles School Penley, Wrexham, North Wales. Oh, wow.